finals are though. Icelaw bringing in that three musky ban. So can go in for the E-Wiz. Once again, he's banned it quite often. He banned it this last match. Very important matchup. Both top ranked guys on the same team. A little bit of a wave there from Soaking as he throws in the first Goblin Barrel. Yeah, the Goblin Barrel coming in on the right hand side. Ice Law just going to slowly do it. First sections of the match are just seeing what your opponent is playing. Kind of get a feel. This Prince is going to hold on. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she does. Nicely played there by Soaking. And a cannon card coming on in to support the next push from Ice Law. Looks like he's going to add on with a Night Witch, and that Cannon Card's going to get a lot of damage out. I don't think it's going to be able to reach the opposing tower. Oh, a missed Zap! Leaves one of those bats alive. Could have been a crazy exchange if we got a nice call on the block for it, but looks like he's going to soak for this Goblin Barrel instead. Oh, nice Zap the in zap. there! Yes, that Princess is enough to take out Goblins, and just like that, Soaking gets a lot of damage off on the right-hand lane. Is he going to do anything about this? No, he's going to swipe right twice. He liked what he saw. <laughs> well, I hope it's a match for him. Down to 2018 on that right side. He is uh, living in the future, I guess. 1660 on the right uh, for Isla. A little bit further behind. Nice rocket in from Soaking here. Shows uh, the seventh card in his deck now. A hard counter to the Elixir Collector preventing Isla from juice enough for that elixir advantage. What do you think of the last two cards in Isla's deck? I don't recognize this arch archetype at all. Is uh, it Golem, maybe? It's probably Graveyard and... Oh, okay. Ugh, Ice Golem? Oh, Poison. Poison, Poison, Poison. Okay, Poison. good call there. I don't there. know why I didn't... <laughs> I don't know why I was like, wait, wait, what? Graveyard well, poison, poison does work poison. really well with Graveyard. Yeah. I, th I think that I'm leaning more toward uh, <laughs> your line of thinking here. Cannon Card is a pretty heavy uh, tank out in front. Even if it doesn't lock on within tower range, it soaks quite a bit of damage here. I think I saw wishes he had Zap for this setup, though. Soaking with kind of a quasi-log bait, not entirely uh, light deck, but you know, with the Mega Knight in there, it's kind of hard to say this is a cheapo deck. It's a big, heavy uh, defense to mid-sized pushes, but it looks like... Soaking is just going to continue the rocket cycle, and uh, I, I think he's got the edge oh, in single Mr. elixir Poison. time. Yeah, that's a oh, bummer. That's nice a finger try, slip. Yeah, try to get 240 damage out the right side, taking out the princess at the same time, but you got 240 there. of the uh, ground. Uh -oh. Night Witch on the wrong side of the tower, and the goblins are going wild, tearing it down to 748. A huge hit for Soaking. Yeah, huge hit for Soaking there. there that's a, oh, a Golem! Oh, what did I tell you, Chad? We got a Golem in this old deck. Cannon Car coming on in to start pulverizing this Mega Knight, but not quite enough. The Golem's going to reach the tower, and this thing might be going down. Soaking's got a lot of DPS on defense with the Mega Knight added on. I think he's going to barely able to hold up here. Look at these Mega Knights just clobbering down the Golems, and this is going to be Soaking's push. He was not ready for that Golem, and here's the Mega Knight there. It's going to be the Claw Barrel. Oh, wow. Whoa, baby, what a rocket. The Rocket Barrel, but Zap's not going to be enough to finish that thing off. I saw might have one more push left in him. Cannon Cart coming on in. He's Zap goes down to take out the Gobbos, but it's not going to be able to get rid of these bats in time, and I think that Soaking's been able to shut down that push. Barrel moves on in. That's not going to be enough to finish off the tower. So But no defense for Isla on the bottom. Well done to Soaking. Wow, he just, here's the thing. He just threw too much elixir on the right with the golem. Soaking was able to defend it. And then stop a golem push in the back from Isla. It's just the constant pressure that Soaking put did not allow Isla to feel comfortable enough to put a golem in the back and just lose the tower. Let's turn back toward the arena and see what's going to happen in this second game. Soaking looking to seal the deal with this best of three match. I saw splitting up some minions. They're not going to really apply too much pressure here as uh, we expect the Mega Knight to be able to, or the Mega Minion rather, to swipe through them. Yeah, you're and saying it too, man. Back. The cards are the exact same name. It's, it's, <laughs> it's rough to say. <laughs> they're just so mega. You know, that's why I like the Elite Barbarians and the Royal Giant because they, they bring a, a different adjective. Yeah, it's like at here. least it's, you know, not Mega Barbarians. <laughs> Ugh. Terrifying. Ugh. Yeah, Blood Hound connects, but there's nothing really to support it just yet. Does Soaking have a miner for it or something? He no. Just... Ooh, pups go down, and they're going to get a lot of damage off on tower after all. Soaking zaps away those minions, and that's a great connection out the left. Turns out you didn't need any support for that Lava Hound after all. If the pups get a chance to kill uh, the tower, they bring you down to 1304. Yeah. Goblins easily shuts down the bandit, and Soaking just looking good, but down a lot of elixir.
Oh, no, a P.E.K.K.A. from Isol. That is not what you want to play versus a Lava Hound. P.E.K.K.A. unfortunately just does not hit air, Woody. Well, here's the thing. I think that Isolaw is counting on soaking running only goblins as his support for the P.E.K.K.A. If Isolaw actually does manage to have something like logs in his deck, he might be able to roll through this uh, defense without having any little swarmy troops to stop it. He chops through the cannon cart. P.E.K.K.A.'s making their way through the tower, but as you saw, ultimately didn't get there. Nightwitch got a stab off, though, and that was not a bad exchange for Isla. Not a bad exchange at all. Miner getting a little bit of chip here, a little bit of chip there. Miner would be clutch. He sends in the Miner and the Bandit added on top. Minions are not down from that zap, and that's going to be a huge hit out the left lane. He does indeed have the log, and with that big strike, Isla pulls ahead in damage. Yeah, just like you said, Woody, what does he really have besides goblins on the ground to shut down this P.E.K.K.A.? Cannon Cart not going to be the answer. He needs something like a goblin gang or something like that, but he does have the log to shut it down. Absolutely. I mean, I guess guards could help, but then what happens? They get poisoned. You know what's going to happen there. Oh, no, Nightwish. Nightwish, not a good answer either. No. Pekka's going to chop through her, and with the poison damage, she's probably going to go down in one hit. Big commitment at the left lane from Soaking as he goes into the base race mode. That left side tower is definitely going down, but can he tear a tower down his own? He's got the Lava Hound in there. Pumps are about to explode. We need a zap right now from Soaking. No zap. He's going to poison instead, but the pumps take a lot of damage, and the miner's not blocking for him enough. That tower's going to hold up. Isla defends with a Night Witch. That left side is within poison range, but he just is not there quickly enough. That's oh. keep the Mega Minion off the tower. Can we keep this Miner off? Yes, yes we can. can! Victory for uh, Isla, excuse me, I almost said soaking there, but it's a 1-1 draw now between our two Kessel players at the top, Drafts OP. Yeah, wow. Unbelievable right? sauce. Oh. I think he's using all the sauce in his hair. He, he's not using it yeah, in the decks. Too much, too much sauce. Too much toupee army. <laughs> he needs, uh, he needs a sauce army. Goblin gang in the back here, with goblins. What do you like better, goblin gang or goblins? Ooh, really depends upon the deck, to be quite honest. I, I think that generally goblin gang is a little bit more efficient. It counters both ground and air attacks. But for my personal favorite, I, I, I love playing mortar. You know, kind of quick decks, and I play on my side of the map, so I, I'm happy just running the goblins. I, I don't need the yeah, gang. You don't need the gang. You don't need the guys who throw the spears. <laughs> oh, 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 baby! But guess what? Lava Hound beats Oak. Uh, Lava Hound beats Sparky 89.9 percent of the time. Ooh, that's quick maths. Quick maths. Two plus two is four, minus one is three. That's quick maths. Exactly. Sparky. Quick maths, Sparky loses 89% of the time. Megan, they need to swipe it down. Is there anything added on top? Minions to help out. Sparky's getting toward the tower. Ooh, but the tower locks on and finishes it off. Yep, Lava Hound just doing work to the right-hand side, and Soaking just doesn't have an answer. The thing when you play a Sparky deck is your normal answer for big, heavy, tanky troops is the Sparky, and you don't really have anything to take down a big, heavy, tanky air unit, because Sparky, unfortunately, does not hit air. Mm. Pup's getting distracted, following Frosty the Snowman down the right lane. I'm worried about Soaking running another... I don't want to call it a goofy deck. Clearly, he's working hard to get the win here, but... It certainly is uh, an acquired taste. Acquired taste? If I could say that about the Sparky deck. Oh, Ooh, great zap from Soaking, though. No. Manny Packer reaches the tower, chops it down twice. Two for one. Oh, my goodness. Two swings, one zap, and that just changes the entire game. Two swings, one zap. We got to get a content advisory on that last hit. Two huge hits from the mini P.E.K.K.A. Pull soaking far ahead at the left lane. He's taking some chip damage on the left of his own, so he probably wants to make this a 1-0 game. He's soaking the damage from the pups, though, as well, and he's down to half hit points now on the left. Yeah, Miner just getting chip, chip, chip away. Oh, one goblin! We have Matt the Goblin being the MVP again! Just continuing to just do damage to the tower. 274 now. He really needs to get this Lava Hound to connect and to connect with a lot of damage. Sure does. I like that he ran both Zap and Arrows, though. Lots of responses to the little goblins, the, uh, you know, bat spotted from the Night Witch, even the pups coming in from the Lava Hound. He's got the spell response. Responses. Nice catch there by Isla at the left side. We prevented uh, that Miner from connecting, but the Sparky obliterates the poor cannon cart. Somehow it's still in range and he finishes it off. Poison at the right side. And this is the big attack from Isla trying to get the win here. Pre fire arrows from Soaking, and that's going to be good enough out in the left. And Isla exactly. take the right side down. Oh, it's getting oh, close. Oh. It does it. Isla is much happier about going for the 2 1 than Soaking is.
And that defense not holding up at the right side means that Soaking is going to be in a lot of trouble. I saw reaches 10, but he's going to play with defense out the right first, a Mega Minion flying on in. Yeah, it's going to also turt the Sparky. Sparky! It's going to turt the Sparky? It's going to... It's going to... A little turt all over it. Oh. It's not like dropping them down from up above. You know, I hate it when you're walking around and a, a, a bird flies down and it, it drops a turret on you. Yeah. I think the Mega Minion almost did the same thing there. Good defense. Oh, oh. oh hold on. Is that in splash range? No, no. it was. It would have been close. Yeah. Goblins there get the block and keep the Sparky off the tower. So he's playing defense out the left now, but oh, no. Sparky can't do a whole lot against the Lava Hound flying up top. This flying attack is about to connect Mega Minion swiping through the Mini P.E.K.K.A. But the Lava Hound locks directly on. Poison Mega Value for Isaw here. Takes out those minions in the pups. The Sparky well, did a lot there, Woody. What did it do? It just soaked shots. <laughs> Goblins about to get the right side tower. Isaw playing great defense, though. I loving it. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, please. Please, Hail Corporate. Don't do it to me in chat. Right side minion swooping on in with a Goblin Gang added on top. Soaking is really committing hard to this push out the right. Miner to protect these dudes, and they're making their way toward that Night Witch on defense, but can't hold up. Night Witch. Oh, great. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a mini pack in there. Oh, baby. I saw this and even see it. What is he's he jumping the tower top? down. Oh, wow. Wow. Just enough elixir at the end there. He really committed hard to the push, and he almost got punished for it. Soaking oh, really. Oh, no. The missed arrow is soaking. everything he could have done to get the, it down. The clench. He's clenching. You clenching? Oh, he's clenching. He's clenching, Shannon.